Hey everyone, Luke here. I'm back with a review. Um, as I mentioned in my my previous review of Batman Arkham Reborn, uh, I'm going to be uh, reviewing the Mud Pack, which is a four-part um, storyline from Detective Comics uh, 604 to 607 from, I believe it was uh, late 1989 to early 1990. And let me show you the issues here. Um, this is um, sort of a tie-in issue. Secret Origins, number 44. Um, as you can tell from the title, it tells how all the all these the, the four clay faces came to be. Um, initially, I, when I bought this, I didn't think they would really tie into the story all that much. I just thought, oh, okay, you know, it's just really at, at the time so you would know um, how these clay faces came to be. But the story of the original clay face, Basil Carlo, um, it actually ties into um, ties into the actual mud pack storyline, so it's worth getting for that. The other stories are okay, I guess, um, but the Basil Carlos stories that is definitely um, definitely um, recommended uh, because it ties into the actual storyline. And let me get the issues here. You have part one, which is six oh four. Part two, six oh five. Part three, six oh six. Part four, six oh seven. This is being written by Alan Grant with pencils by Norm Breifogel. Breifogel, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and of course, they're a really great creative team. And um, the the few issues that I've read of their work um, has been really good, especially um, uh, Breifogel's pencils. Just really great stuff. Anyway, um, this story. Um, tells of Basil Carlo, the original Clayface, who, uh, as you may or may not know, uh, was a, a horror film actor who um, basically basically gets arrested and um, hospitalized by Batman for trying to kill, actually for actually killing um, an actress who was starring in a remake of the film that made him famous. Anyway, um, once, once um, Mudpack starts he's released from the hospital and he's dead set on revenge he um basically um solicits the help of clayface two three and four um and um you know um uh, as you can expect from super villains um basil carlo doesn't exactly um want want this to be a clayface reunion in which they go after Batman as sort of an afterthought. This is um, this is, the, this is the plan that he's been cooking up for a long time as, as he's been sitting or um, lying on his um, hospital bed. Uh, so he has his own motives that the other clay faces don't know. Um, and I don't really, I don't really want to want to talk a whole lot about about, about the plot because it's kind of hard to do it without um, without really spoiling it, but. Um, there's some great elements in here. Um, as I mentioned, Brayfogle ha has really great, um, really great uh, pencils. Really awesome style. Um, in fact, I think Comic Book Resources named him one of the top Batman artists of all time, which I think is definitely deserved. Um, but as with any Clayface story, you're gonna have some awesome um, uh, in impersonations of uh, various characters. Um, also gonna have some kind of disgusting death scenes, especially involving Clayface 3, who can burn through, through, um, burn through um, human flesh. So that doesn't go well for the folks that uh, try and stop him. Um, there's also um, a pretty good, um, pretty good little sequence involving Batman where he where he sort of addresses something that fans have, have um, talked about, and I've seen various discussions of this, where... Um, People wonder if Batman is basically um, crime fighting, despite the fact that he, that this whole endeavor is basically an exercise in futility. You know, um, because um, as Batman says in in the issue, I think it's I think it's part three, Detective Six Hundred Six, um, that basically for every one criminal I put away, fifty more um, spring up to um, take their place. So, um, 
that's an interesting, an interesting um, scene there. And um, of course, when you get to read the old back issues, you get to see all the uh, the vintage ads, and there are a couple. Um, I think there are. Yeah, I think there are. Let's see, one, two. Yeah, the first and fourth part of the of the series actually have fold out Batman posters, which are which are thankfully still left in by the by the original owner. So that's nice. Um, I really like Clayface. I got the Clayface one shot during Villains Month. You know, I think that was a pretty good story. I also like the the, uh, the two part of that Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo did for the, the current Batman series. But this one's really good too. So I'm definitely intrigued by by Clayface and the various individuals who have taken on that mantle. So I re I really really like this a lot. So I give it probably four out of five stars. Um, definitely check it out. You can get um, all five of these issues pretty cheap online, as I did. Um, for, unfortunately, they've never been collected in trade, which is my preferred reading method, as you can see right there. But uh, I'm slowly but surely going through my back issue um, short boxes because I've bought a bunch. They look interesting or have, have come recommended by um, either the comic shop employees or my brother, who basically got, got me into comics because he... He had a uh, a uh, subscription box, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to try out comics because I had never never done it in all my years. Um, yeah, so definitely check out uh, the Bud Pack. It's uh, Secret Origins forty four, along with Detective Comics six hundred four to six hundred seven. Now, um, just as a little preview, my next video here. I'm checking out a bunch of books from the library, and this is one of them. James Bond Trouble Spot. Basically reprints of the James Bond newspaper strip from, I believe, the 70s, I want to say. 70s, early 80s. Um, anyway, I've already read one of these collections. It was really good. It was called uh, The Golden Ghost. And um, I'll have a review of uh, Trouble Spot within the next couple of days, probably after July 4th. So in the meantime, uh, enjoy your reading, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.